The book from 2008, Erzberg Rodeo, third place. This is what happens when you're married to a school teacher. <laughs> so yeah, Lisa made this for us after it because it was like a big deal. We'd only really done some British trials championships and some British championships in the UK. So it was quite a big deal to be in Austria and get the third place at a big Red Bull race. And so that we didn't know how, was, how big it was going to get this race in the, in the future. If anybody recognises that guy there, or that guy even, that's Andreas Lettenbeckler. He was factory BMW at the time. Obviously Taddy, first hard enduro for, and he won. So then he got the KTM signing from that. And there's me on the, with the big chunky knee that I'd hit on a rock just after Carl's diner and I thought I'd broken, broken something. I had to really dig deep to carry on. So it was pretty hard dabbing with my left foot. without the support network around you. And it's not just about the, the help alone, it's about having that, that positive vibe around you all the time that's, that's good and it makes you feel good that you, you can push on harder in the race or you can try harder. Not that you don't always try as hard as you can, but it just gives you that nice feeling in your stomach when you, you go there. You know everything's in place now and especially now I've got more experience, you know everything's in place as well and you've got that nice support network around you so you can you can go for it and uh, try your best. I remember you asked Salman and tapping me on the back at the, the end of the race and it was like, wow, you know, you are one of my heroes of the enduro world, giving me a tap on the shoulders and saying fair play, well done. left paint on that one. Obviously I've been doing Erzberg for like 10 years or more. Or more. Uh, I mean it might be 11 this, this time. So things I've learned over the years are going to such a crazy place that rock hard everywhere and the bikes are getting a big punishment is mainly the armour and stuff so you want to be protecting like your disc from being bent in the rock sections. Um, you want to be having the pull straps on. You want to have a really good sump guards and stuff like that. Clutch covers, all these things that have uh, cost me cost me good positions in the past where I've made, learned from these mistakes over the years. So yeah, when I first started doing it, it was totally about the rock sections and getting through them as cleanly as possible. And it wasn't even thought about to be racing as much between the the hard sections. Now it's an absolute out and out sprint between all these obstacles. So you're trying to make up a little bit of time on the fast sections and some of the faster sections have got horrendous drops to the side and you know you I've had one big crash in the past there trying to catch up to Doug who just come past me and I just clipped a rock and it was off down a banking so I'd made what was already a hard race, even harder by trying to lift my bike out of a easy section that I'd, that I'd cocked up, you know. So yeah, all these things that, you, that you've got to learn from over the years. And I always say on the, my training schools, it's, it's all right making mistakes, you know, because you're trying, um, but if you keep making the same ones, then it's a problem, isn't it? So, So obviously one of the biggest biggest things in hard enduro is looking after the bike but also you've got to be safe yourself and um, even if you're following another rider up a, a rocky uphill the boulders that are coming out you know they're like bigger than tennis balls or more so you sometimes get one in your chest or, or worse still on your leg i've had one in my leg in the past and um, it gave me such a dead leg for the next half an hour um, that i was just struggling and all i was thinking about was this flipping dead leg so yeah even even just down to following somebody and getting getting out getting out of the roost is um, is a massive massive help but also you've got to think about your bike if you're following somebody too close you can get a radi um, a stone through the radiator 
and then automatically you get when you get to the harder sections the bike's overheating because there's no water left in it so yeah there's, there's so many things that can go wrong in that quarry it's, it's unbelievable Ready for Erzberg? <laughs> Just send it. Brah! <laughs>